Hey guys, welcome to my dev blog in which I talk about SuperThread, which is a unified productivity software for agile teams with tasks and docs together. So with SuperThread, our idea from the very beginning has been to create a collaboration software for teams which has really, really good tasks and docs together. So this is really crucial behind what we want to build. And so we didn't want to build anything complicated, which can only be used by sort of uh, super sophisticated developers using sprints or whatever. We didn't want to make something that had too many features. We wanted to build something that just works and it's super fast and it can be used by anybody. So a multifunctional team, a team where you have product managers, designers, developers, accountants working together using the same tool. And that turns out to be very, very hard. And so one of the main things that we have is tasks and docs. And when we started building SuperThread, the docs, we just started building it organically. And we just added adding features uh, as and when we needed them. And so to begin with, we chose a library called Quill, which is a very good editor library. In fact, it's used by Slack. And so that's one of the reasons why we chose it. And as we started building out our editor on Quill, we just started adding stuff randomly and uh, eventually uh, it was quite buggy. So we thought, well, um, because we want to create something that's best in the world, we're going to step back and compare all the libraries and see which one suits us best. So very quickly, we realized that basically we have three libraries and they are Quill.js, TipTap and Lexical. So Quill.js is the one that we originally chose. TipTap is the one that's been around for a very long time and has a very good Vue.js implementation, which is the library that we use. And the third one is called Lexical, which has been released or open sourced by Facebook recently. And it's excellent as well as the previous two, except that this one's kind of React based, which is not the library that we use. So how did we go about choosing our editor? So, well, then what we did was we made a table with a comparison of all three. And we had about 50 things in there, uh, half of which were roughly the things we wanted. And the other half was kind of the bugs that each one had. And when we compared the Quill, the one our implementation which we have, with TipTap and Lexical, uh, even though they are all equally good and uh, you could pick up any of them and actually turn them into a really good editor. And so the one we chose was TipTap. And this is the reason why we chose TipTap. First of all, when we compared the list, uh, it kind of the comparison looked good for TipTap, for us at least. Secondly, our friends at a company called Outfirst demoed their implementation of TipTap and told us that, well, they made friends with the TipTap creators and they were very friendly and helpful, which also helped us believe in TipTap even more. Um, and also, like, if you compare it to Lexical, which is a new, new edited library, um, it's very good. In fact, if you go to Lexical and have a look at their sandbox implementation, which is basically a demo of Lexical, it has a lot of stuff. It's really amazing. And I even reached out to the creator of Lexical, which is one of the core creators uh, or co-creators of uh, React.js, but the problem for us is that uh, Lexical has a first-class React implementation and the Vue.js implementation, which is the library which we use, uh, it's only starting now. So therefore, uh, that would have been too late for us to wait. So what we then did is basically step back. We realized that TipTap is right for us right now. We made a, a plan for uh, executing on a really decent editor that's really simple and intuitive but without all the crazy stuff like you can see in Notion. And we have kind of started rebuilding it now and we are working on it as we speak. And it's going well and we're really impressed by its API, the way you can kind of implement uh, blots inside of it and so on and so forth. So, so far things are going well and hopefully in a month and a half we'll have something that's actually usable and quite nice and easy to use. Once we kind of do our editor, we'll demo it to you and maybe you can give us your opinion about what you think. And we'd really, really appreciate that because we are still in early access 
and we're looking for feedback. Well, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next week.